Hey folks, how's it going? This is IRTL here, back with another lot showcase for The Sims 4. So, this time I decided to show off a really nice house that is a really nice pool attached to it. So, this is the Gardenia by Ange Rouge 24, and this is on a 30 by 20 lot. It has two bedrooms and one bathroom, and uh, it can be yours for 86,636 simoleons. So here you can just show you where uh, I've placed this in my game. So yeah, it does look pretty good next to the riverside and the steamboat going by occasionally and all that cool stuff. So uh, I'll just uh, unpause this and I'll show you the outside first. So yeah, as you can see here, this pool is just like, yeah, it really attracts the eye. And you can see that it has like a little turtle mosaic at the bottom there. And uh, our Sim's just going right in. He's pretty eager to check out the inside, but we'll get to that in a bit. But yeah, there's a really nice garden to complement it too. Even like a little fountain over here. <laughs> oh, he's feeling really happy. Whoa, that's like a really good, uh, <laughs> beautifully decorated movement there. So uh, the, around the corner here, there's four planters, so there's plenty of room for your uh, gardener Sim to uh, do their thing. And yeah, so let's go inside. So yeah, it's just one floor. So when you go in, you'll be uh, in this uh, little entrance slash office over here. Then you go into here. I'll just uh, put the walls up once I get a good angle. So you go into like this living room slash dining room over here and... Oh, that's weird. I couldn't move my mouse for a second. That was odd. Uh, so let's go down here. So, yeah, there's the TV over here. Oh, it's like the UFO from The Sims 3 Seasons. <laughs> That's cool. Never really noticed that on the TV before. And there's a nice dining set over here. It's really cute. And uh, if we go through this door over here, we'll go into this kitchen very dramatically and slowly. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice uh, little kitchen set. It's it's kind of like an old-fashioned uh, sort of decor I've noticed with this house, which is it's pretty nice. And uh, let's just uh, quickly get a tab mode for a little bit here. So then if we go into here, there's just a hallway. Uh, nothing too much to really say about it, really. Other than that, it's a hallway. So then there's a bathroom over here with two sinks. And uh, there's the shower tub combo over here. Interesting, it uses uh, the yellow color. Uh, then there's the bedroom right over here. It's very nice blue colors. I definitely like that. The matching lamps and everything. And over here, there's another bedroom, which is uh, perfect as either like a guest bedroom or uh, if you have uh, a child, then the child can be in this bedroom. Kind of has more, um, I don't know, I don't want to say dull colors, just m more like, yeah, I guess that's how you would say it. Just, uh, yeah, just kind of more of a dull color, but not that it's a bad thing. It's just uh, more of, more grays and whites. Uh, I think I've covered everything. Let's just go around the house one more time. There you can actually see the pool at night right over here. I think I'll actually have him go for a swim. You know, swim some laps. Hey, I mean, I've swim laps at night before. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Um, oh, there's Bella Goth jogging. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this house. And I'll just uh, show what it looks like from the outside again. I really love the outside. It definitely looks really great from the outside. I think I like this better than the uh, default uh, house that was placed here like when you first get the game. So I might even place this in my uh, Let's Play. Even though it probably won't get any spotlight at all. But just to make the neighborhood a, a bit more of a... I don't know, not really personal touch, or maybe a little bit of a personal touch. It's not technically my lot, but it, but it's kind of customized a little bit more to my liking. Plus, I mean, it has a pool, 
So, uh, I don't know, maybe I could move a sim in here and they could have pool parties and stuff because I have that mod that allows you to have pool parties, which is pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, before I ramble on for too long, yeah, I would definitely recommend having this house in your game, especially if you just got the pools update uh, and you don't really have the time to build anything yourself. I definitely suggest uh, placing uh, this house in your neighborhood if you really want a nice house with a pool that you can move your sims into. It's, fortunately, you will need to work a little bit to um, earn this house unless you are willing to use uh, cheats. But uh, yeah, I will uh, as always leave the uh, origin ID in the video description below and of course it'll be in the title as well. And yeah, um, I know uh, I know you're if you're watching this uh, the Ange Rouge 24 that's uh, your friend. So uh, <laughs> yeah, merci beaucoup. <laughs> Definitely a really good job. Uh, acquired the fitness skill. All right. <laughs> so yeah, be sure to leave a like or comment or even subscribe, whatever you feel like doing, because it lets me know that you like my channel and my videos. And it helps you keep up to date more easily with the latest content from my channel, including more lot showcases. Yeah, really been putting out uh, quite a few of these lately. I think I'll keep doing more because you guys really seem to like this, and I really like... Uh, seeing uh, all the awesome creations on the gallery. It's just a shame that we don't have more uh, space to place these, but hopefully that will resolve itself in time. So yeah, I'll talk to you later guys and have a great day.